Sorella Moore, overnight millionaire. Dave Ramsey became a millionaire, went broke, and got to millionaire status again. Marcus Lemonis, self-made millionaire. Unreal. What am I doing out here? I gotta fix my life. Hey YouTube, in today's video, I'm gonna be introducing myself, my channel, and evaluating my net worth to see how far I am from achieving financial freedom and getting on some of these one percenters level. Hey, so please like, comment, and subscribe, and keep it locked. My name is Justin, I'm 34 years old, and I really, really want to understand how to step into this thing called financial freedom that I keep hearing about. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining. Frankly, I'm just tired of worrying about money. And more importantly, I want to establish a better quality of life. And when I say financial freedom, I mean not leveraging debt at all to get there either. A little bit about me. I do have a day job as a technical recruiter, and I've been in that field of work for about a decade. I've worked for companies like Amazon, AMD, and I'm currently working for John Deere. I live in the Austin, Texas area with a little furball named Blade. Actually, he's not that little. He's put on some pandemic pounds. Um, I really got to start taking him out more. So see, I started my journey toward financial peace and clearing out debt around 2017. Um, essentially just starting off doing a lot of research on different avenues about how to create better money habits. And through that research, I discovered that I was absolutely trash at taking control of my money and understanding where my money was going. Like, no joke, really pathetic, extremely irresponsible. But from that, I did learn some lessons in controlling my financial destiny. So I'll put it out there. Nothing was ever handed to me on a silver platter. As a matter of fact, back in 2015, I remember it like it was yesterday, I was literally sitting with zero dollars in my bank account. As a 20 year old grown man, nothing to my name. And that was my wake up call. I knew that I had to make changes and that I could never end up in that situation ever, ever again. So from that time, I bounced back, um, but I was still living paycheck to paycheck. And like I said earlier, it wasn't until about 2017 when I started educating myself on how to manage my finances. And now at this point in my life, I'm really just trying to figure out how to build wealth. So in essence, instead of me working for my money, how can I get my money to work for me? So recently, I wanna say uh, back in September, I started investing my money and I use a couple of platforms to do so. The main ones are Robinhood and Acorns. Now there are some differences in these apps, but essentially I want to be able to put my money somewhere where it's able to grow. And after putting in all of these years of work, my money actually starts working for me. With Robinhood, I have a strategy basically in investing in companies that um, have a long track record of success. And then in addition to that, investing in dividend stocks where the company will kick back a little bit of money to me for investing in their organization. And then I can get paid out from those companies either on a monthly quarterly or annual basis. And the other app is Acorns. And I would essentially say that both of these platforms are really good for maybe beginner investors that don't know too much about investing in the stock market uh, to really where you're able to move at your own pace. What I really like about Acorns is it's somewhat of a passive investment platform where essentially it connects to your bank account and anytime that you make a purchase, it'll round up your spare change to then invest that into the stock market. And so, for example, if you were to go to the store, buy something, it costs 75 cents. It'll take that spare 25 cents to round it up to a dollar and then invest that 25 cents into the stock market. If you might be interested in learning more about these, I'll go ahead and link in the description below. And just so you know, with Acorns, if you do end up opening up a basic account with them, it'll cost a dollar a month. But once you sign up, they will invest five dollars toward your account. So it's literally free money. And it's a really good way just to get started in investing in your future. But in addition to those investments throughout the research that I did, I noticed that a lot of people would talk about different streams of income, um, even aside from their main career. And I tried out a lot of them, but the one that stuck with me most that I'm mostly dedicated to is reselling. Products. I could go into a store or online and find a specific item, buy that item at a certain price, and then go ahead and sell it on a different platform 
for a higher price. So for example, I might go out to a department store, find a pair of shoes that's marked down on clearance for $25, uh, and then look at another online platform where that exact same shoe is selling for $100, and then list that item and make profit off of it. Now it's not always that simple, and if you follow me throughout my channel, I'll definitely include more videos that talk about reselling and some of my experiences. Now I have to throw in, I definitely don't know everything and in no way should this be taken as financial advice, nor am I a financial professional. But really the goal of this channel is you have an opportunity to follow along in my journey in trying to achieve that financial freedom. So you'll be able to see a lot of the mistakes that I make um, and maybe some successes that I make and hopefully take that and be able to apply it uh, where necessary. But honestly, for me, the biggest reward would be if there's somebody out there that has similar goals to me that I might be able to inspire throughout my journey or share knowledge through some of the things that I've learned, that would just mean the most to me. And also, I do wanna state that this isn't me having a brag session about money. That's literally not the point of any of my content. So with that being said, I was able to make a lot of progress in becoming debt-free and starting to build my net worth. Now for the moment of truth, to date, my current net worth is a little bit over $600,000. Now I'll talk about my experience and the methods that I use to get to this point in future videos, but I'll let you guys in on a little bit of a spoiler alert. It's really hard work. And also this will probably be the only video where I do talk about my net worth in any specific figures, just because I'm not really comfortable talking about it. Even my closest friends, I don't have these discussions with them, but I did want to come from a point of some type of credibility. Now, although that I've made this progress, I've determined that it's nowhere near enough for me to be able to work for myself and establish that better quality of life. And so I'm gonna to continue to look at different ways that I can accomplish that. So to kind of wrap the video up, I did wanna ask a question of the day. Given that 2022 is here, do you have any specific resolutions or any financial goals that you're looking to accomplish this year? So let me know in the comments below and I'll be taking a couple of y'all's answers and featuring those in my next video. Hey, but anyway guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do plan on posting in this channel every Sunday. So if you do want further updates, feel free to follow me on my socials. I'll post it here as well as the link below. And if you made it to the end of this video, you're a legend. Again, I really appreciate it for that. I will leave some bonus footage from my second channel. This shows a little bit more of some of my hobbies and uh, what I like to do for fun. Hey, but anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. I'm outside, I'm outside. One down, one down, one down, one down. I just sh it. He's the last one. Last guy. I'm going, I'm going.